every woman wants to make the most out of her home, but there are still some poisonous pills that crawl in to destroy our homes. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five top relationship killers and how to avoid them. I welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Coach Zara. I help Christian women who appreciate self-care, lead a healthy lifestyle, want to build the most phenomenal home, and understand how to do marriage based on God's standard. If that excites you, please consider subscribing to be part of this community and don't forget to turn on the bell for notification. There are five top relationship killers you might be expressing ignorantly and how to avoid them. Tip number one, lack of trust. Without trust, it is almost impossible to have a good long lasting relationship. Trust is the bedrock of every relationship, the foundation that binds couples together. If one person is consistently being suspicious of the other, without any evidence, proof behind their suspiciousness, it can pose as a major threat to their relationship. If not properly handled, it can simply bring any relationship to an end. This may take long time to build, but it is very essential part of any relationship that is intended to last for a lifetime. The best way to avoid these relationship killers is by being brutally honest with your partner from the start. Try your best not to break promises or wait until the dying minute to fulfill them. This can be hurtful. Tip number two, not showing love constantly. Love can mean different things for different folks. But for the most part, love is constantly shown in marriage through small acts of kindness, consideration towards your partner. The best way to captivate your partner in wanting to spend forever with you is by putting their needs, feelings, and emotions first without fail on daily basis and unconditionally. This is very vital for any relationship. If you consistently take each other for granted, your relationship will suffer some level of resentment. The best way to avoid this relationship killer is to take time out of your busy schedule every day just to follow a significant routine to show your partner how much he means to you. Tip number three, being defensive. Always being on defense whenever your partner has to talk with you about an issue on a decision you made or an action you took. If you always have to justify your reasons, and defend yourself by making a list of all the reasons behind the action you took. That is being defensive. The problem with being defensive is that it brings serious division between the couple. It becomes so impossible to be a good listener when you are always on defense. For many folks, the fear of falling into trouble or being blamed usually activates defensive mechanism in them. The best way to avoid this relationship killer is to make a conscious effort and be intentional towards understanding the best way to activate your listening skills. Tip number four, being content. Content is beyond criticism. It is highly toxic for any marriage. It is the feeling that one is beneath consideration or worthless. This singular act is the greatest predictor of major problem and divorce in marriages today. This behavior includes treating your partner with so much disrespect, mocking them, and disdain towards one's significance. The best way to avoid this relationship killer is to show empathy towards your spouse. It might be that most times you criticize your spouse before understanding why they did what they did. In this regard, it is important that you put yourself in your spouse's show, if reverse be the case. Instead of content, replace with love, understanding, and empathy. Tip number five, financial issues. Money-related issues are one of the top cited problems cited for divorce all over the world. Marriage is as much as partnership as it is a love affair. Even though in Africa, especially in Nigeria, parents make their daughters to believe that men are the only source of income for the family. Permit me to say that this teaching is very, very wrong. It has actually led a lot of ladies astray in their homes. This is one of the reasons why most ladies are not working hard to improve themselves financially. They are simply waiting for a man that will marry them and take them to a promised land. 
a place of comfort. Yes, there is nothing wrong with you seeking for comfort in your home. But while you are planning to be comfortable in your home, try to improve yourself so that you will not be an added liability to your husband. How to avoid this relationship killer? You must plan to add value to the man you will end up with as a husband. By acquiring an extra skill, Beside your academic qualification, to be sincere with you, I'm still a work in progress. In this regard, it is important for you to understand what money really means for your spouse so that you can have a lay down template on how to spend and utilize your money. If you have so much enjoyed this video and you still have some questions to ask, kindly reach out to me using the link on the description box below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell to get an update on every new video that will be shared on this channel. Thank you for watching.